what are some things that you do to use less plastic? Uh, we try to avoid straws and stuff like that. And we also recycle all, uh, all the things that we don't, like, so we try not to throw everything out in the garbage. Plastic. So it's actually a challenge and we're all, there's a bunch of different groups here that are trying to build the most uh, eco-friendly community. What do you think was the hardest thing of building all this? I think the hardest thing is to try to be creative and make it something that's actually, that you could actually create in real life as well. Yeah. Who is this? This is Hector the Blue Shark. He is one of the Marine Team's mascots. And unfortunately, this Blue Shark, Hector, is completely entangled by marine debris. So you can see we have plastic here, something that looks like paper but actually has a thin film inside of it. And when it breaks down, it gets this weird plastic film that can never break down or biodegrade. What does this represent? This is just a small symbol of, you know, the effects that are happening with plastic pollution in our ocean in the North Atlantic, what's happening around the world. How much do you think the G7 meeting is going to accomplish? I hope that this meeting, as they market it, actually works out and, you know, it does look after all the communities that are affected by uh, plastic pollution, uh, climate change, and uh, hopefully we'll get some more resilient coastal communities as well. You're almost 12, so there you go. It's like you're my daughter's body double. Yeah, you know, so probably you've seen some weird weather. You've experienced yeah. weird weather. I know that there's a lot of storms that are hitting harder than ever before. Hopefully that we can help young people understand that weather is just how we experience climate. And that there are trends that we're seeing that are showing that our planet is heating up and that's having a real impact. But the good news is there's things we can do. What do you do in your own house to reduce plastic? Well, I mean, so there's a lots of things that you can do. Recycling. Unfortunately in Canada, even though we're pretty good at recycling, we only recycle about one in 10 plastic product. That's pretty bad because that means nine out of 10 we're not recycling. So we all have to get better about recycling. And I heard an interesting statistic. So that, did you know that it takes five seconds to make a plastic bag? We use a plastic bag for about five minutes and it takes 500 years for it to decompose. So every time we just go to the store and we take a plastic bag and we kind of use it because it's convenient and then that's it, we're having an impact on the planet. Before you said you have kids, how old are they? So uh, I have an Isabel just like you, and she is uh, she's 12 already. So she's also in grade seven like you. See her body double for today. <laughs> um, I have a daughter who's 14, so she's in high school. And then I have a son who's nine, almost 10. Huh. And what are they doing in their daily lives to reduce plastic? Yeah, so this is something they really care about. So they're always pointing out, okay, well, why do we need to use plastic straws? So we now have metal straws in our house. Um, they also use water bottles um, that they reuse every day. They try to use litterless lunches so that they use the same containers. And I think we can just be smarter. And that's why the G7 is important because it can bring governments together to say, okay, these are really big problems, but we can also bring other people to the table. When you listen to children, they they know what the problem is, they know what the solution is. 